the idea that this Iran deal is not a good one for the United States is just does not pass uh, the, uh, the the test of of rigorous rigorous thinking, frankly. The you know that's what Republicans is, have been saying all along, including candidate Trump on the trail. Uh, correct. And what I'm saying is that doesn't pass the laugh test. Uh, to be perfectly uh, perfectly frank about it, uh, because look at what happened before the deal. 20,000 centrifuges. We could, we could go on and on. A, a reactor uh, that, uh, that could make a lot of plutonium uh, for weapons. That's all been dialed back uh, with a dramatic reduction to get to take that threat off the table. It's not so different from what President Reagan did, uh, I, might, I might remind them. Uh, when he negotiated arms control agreements mm -hmm. with the Soviet Union, we had lots and lots of other problems with the Soviet Union in the Cold War. But dialogue on addressing the existential threat of nuclear weapons is the path he chose to take. It's the same path President Obama chose to take. Uh, and that deal is based upon international cooperation. Without that, we would not have the strength of a sanctions regime, for example. And, you know, my good friend, Brent Scowcroft, Republican National Security Advisor, he stated very elegantly, if we walk away from this deal now, we walk away alone. If we walk away alone, we will not have the international support for not only enforcing the agreement, but to try to bring back effective sanctions.